This is one of my couple friends, Cami and Taryn. Ava and Alexis. Hi. Talene and Veronica. They've been together for like three years something. Shit. Three years. Wow. And they had no clue. <laughs> the whole time. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am the only single friend I've noticed. Hard to miss. No, it's obvious. <laughs> it's glaring. I've noticed. Yeah. Well, you, it seems like you have a lot of thoughts about well, it's it. it's uncomfortable in a group setting, I'll say that much. So I wanted to ask you a couple questions about like why, how I can make myself more appealing to women, because... Mama needs it. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you guys think I'm still single? Are we going based off of like looks or the whole package? Well, are we going based off of like how much time we have? I think it's on you. Oh, so it's a it's a me problem. <laughs> yeah. I I think that you're a catch and you're not you're not wanting it yet. I think it's because the people who you want don't want you, and the people who want you, you don't want them. Your standards, I don't know that you know your standards. What, Is that a thing? The <gasps> fuck do you mean by that? Oh my god! My standards are high or low? They're confused. <laughs> They're confused. I don't even know how to answer that. They're confused. I think you want to be single. I don't think that you want to actually be in a relationship. I don't know. Amy's been talking about being really, really, really lonely. No, she's really lonely. And it's not just her No, that's she's clinically that. lonely. It's her therapist, I think too. she's afraid of a relationship. Well, why would I be afraid of something so beautiful that you guys, you know... I feel like you don't trust it. yourself. You don't trust your own judgment. How can I make myself more attractive to women? Women. You I would really say, gotta like, change up the clothing. Like, just... Your, yeah. Even your buttons <laughs> don't want to unbutton. We want to see more Baywatch, less um, mechanic Valvoline. In what... Is there a lane? Mm -hmm. and let's start with physical and then we can get into my terrible personality. Physically, I think you're great. Yeah, I think, what? like, nothing to fix there. Check, Cammy, check, check. you used to be so I mean. Know. <laughs> show more. Show more. Of skin? Show, yes, show more skin. Show what? She's had her boobs removed 12 times. There's <laughs> nothing to show anymore. Damn, that's, maybe that's the problem. Get my, whip my tits out? No, but they're probably. Put them back in. <laughs> You've got such a cute frame. You've got such a cute bod. Like, you don't ha Like, look what you're wearing. <laughs> imagination in a way that well, what you wear? <laughs> yeah, what? I'm coupled up. Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm not mad at the appearance. I'm I'm good with it. It also looks very done inside. in a good way. It's, I have problems about the inside, so I'm just waiting for that. What personality trait should I just drop? Get out of there. I have so many, just like where to start. Um okay, so I see anxiety for me. It's a depression for me. Um, any form of mental illness. Yeah, that's gotta go. Yeah, oh, that yeah. Before illness. before we started dating, we just dropped our yeah. issues at the door, and that's genius. Like I don't know why I didn't think of that. Yeah, just be a shell. Um, you're kind of scary sometimes. <laughs> In yeah. what way? <laughs> <laughs> like intimidating. Like how you just whispered at us like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> intimidating. I think it goes with your whole like. I either really care or I don't care at all vibe with the uh, ladies. I think there is an intimidation factor to you that works. Like with you? Like with you guys? No, honey. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think makes me an undesirable partner? The fact that you don't want a partner deep <laughs> down is probably pretty undesirable. Hmm. Yeah, that does read a little, it makes it hard to want to get close. And I, we know you don't want to be close. I think it's the unlikability, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Rigid. It's on. What about me is so rigid? That is hard to answer because it feels like everything. You just don't fit in with like the lesbian stereotype of dating, getting together, moving in, yeah, getting yeah. dogs. Like that's just not your vibe. Mm -hmm. You're a cat. You're like a lone yeah. ranger. Like I'm gonna do my thing. Like dogs are like, follow me, follow me, say hi to me. And then cats are just like, what up? and then walk away. But so many lesbians are cat people. So yeah, because I they're not I just don't know cats. those ones. I know you, but I don't know you. <laughs> I've never dated you, if you know what I mean. I, do you want to? It seems yeah, like should <laughs> I move? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm over-indexing on being nice. I'm hitting on Amy. <laughs> No, the point of the video. Maybe, but that's, your, other maybe that's how it was. Only hooking up 
and dating your friends. You think Sorry. that you deserve something bad and like that has all this push and pull or whatever, and so that's what you get. Do you guys think that I talk about my ex too much? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do I talk about my ex too much? Yes. Yes. Do I talk about my ex too much? <laughs> <laughs> if you gotta ask it in post, roll the clips of all the videos you make about your exes. <laughs> it's not as many as you do. <laughs> I don't make any videos about exes. When they're done, they're just funny. <laughs> I can find some stuff. Like what? Roll the clip. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Do you think I talk about my therapist too much? Not enough. Not enough of the therapist. No, I, no, I think that's good. Yeah. 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 You should go more. Yeah. You talk about her a lot. Mm. I, I think it makes you seem healthy. Or ish. <laughs> in like the most mentally ill way. But you're doing something about it. She should be a third in your relationship. Invite her. Well, she would actually be the second in my relationship because she doesn't have a right. second. Right. Just so people know that you're handling it. At least they know you're trying. Yeah, you should like on your Raya be like in therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry. And you're I'm trying. Trying. And you're So my therapist was really upset that I only had couple friends. Because you know, they're like so hard to hang out with. Annoying when they're like all up on each other. Mm -hmm. Does does this offend you at all? I don't think you should always be surrounded by things you're jealous of. Because that can be unhealthy. So I'm alright with that. I get it. Do you guys think I'm ready for a relationship? No. No. No, God, no. Do you guys think that I am ready for a relationship? No. I don't think you want a relationship. <laughs> what makes you say that? The fact that I always say I don't want a relationship. Yes. You want to get laid. There's no <laughs> services for that. <laughs> the real question is, when is the last time you've had sex? It was like, you know, some time ago, we're in a pandemic. It was after Pride. So it was like, what pride? What? Like last year pride? No! <laughs> oh my god, Amy, I was seriously about to fuck you. <laughs> what do you guys even have that I don't possess that makes you a good partner and not me? You know? It's like, <laughs> what do um, I have that makes you what? Like, like what, what like do why you- Why won't anyone date her? But we're not having a problem. Uh -oh. <laughs> why us and not Amy? Sex appeal. Yeah. I'm too depressed to answer these. But baby, well, like normally I'd be sassy and just be like a house. A life. <laughs> <laughs> the first one that comes to mind is the, as we've discussed, the being conventionally attracted. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have a lot of like love in our lives and our hearts. We don't have, you know, so many cats. Um, we each have yeah. one. We each have one. Um, we are really beautiful in a sort of a conventional way. Yeah, I think you said that. Am I a good third wheel? Uh, it's good. It's just easier with Joanna. It does feel a little more natural. Yes. You're like you a professional are, honestly. Third wheel. I mean, I definitely am. Yeah. Yeah. Are you afraid that if I get another girlfriend that I'll just ditch you guys? That's what I assume will happen. Yeah, I'm prepared for it. <laughs> I would expect to at least not see you for the next year. We think that would be really, help really, really healthy for you. At night, we say a little prayer to the universe and uh, we wish that for you and for us. A great woman once said, so what if I'm self-involved? Who else should I be involved with? Do you guys think I'm too self-involved for a partner? No, I don't. I think being self-involved is good. I think you're, you, how do I say this? <laughs> mm. I'll give you can just say yes. Yeah, you're too self-involved. <laughs> is that even a thing? Yeah, I feel like to Can like, one be too self-involved? Like too conceited? Are you too self-involved to know that you're too self-involved? Do you guys think that I am too self-involved? For sure. <clears throat> yeah. Self-love club, baby. Mm. Wow, maybe you are too self-involved. Maybe just a smidge, enough to get a <laughs> tattoo. It was gonna be, I love myself, at me, forever. Self-involved club. We all have to be at some point. And then we all need to let it go. not be. <laughs> So. so my therapist did say that I am ready to date, ready for a girlfriend. Do you guys think that I am? I think it's time for a new therapist. No, I don't want you to get a girlfriend. Why? My life revolves around you right now and that's how you like it? Yes. You're not ready to hear about more drama from me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess my, my final question is like, do you guys want me to get into a, a relationship? You need to. I want you to be in the dating phase for a long time. I enjoy hearing about dates. Yeah, I want you to like 
go out on a fucking bender. Me too. Do I want to look at my Raya? Yes. yes. So she looks too tall. Too tall? What's too tall for you? Oh, she's incredibly beautiful. No, nah, that's just like <laughs> you, but like different. She lives in Paris. Pass. Oh, oh, I'm a huge fan already. Yes, <gasps> hard yes. Oh. Oh, she also likes Pocky. Fun. <gasps> Her name say is something? something? Yes, say hello! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say hello. We it don't said, say hello. It said say hello. <laughs> I said hello. Yeah, perfect. Okay, okay. That is so weird. Next. I'd be so upset if I got a text message from you on Ryan that said hello. <laughs> Why? Because it said hello or it's from Amy? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But she's tall. She is so tall. I don't care. She's so she's tall, but she's tall. really cool. Okay, but yes, just to like be friends. Wait, can we please talk about your thing with tall people? What is wrong? You scare me. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Amy Altman. I make videos every... Not true. My name is Amy Altman. I make videos again. So if you're in that kind of thing, subscribe and hit the bell. Ding! What? <laughs> 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 Disgusting. <laughs>